Hello and welcome to another episode of Moose's Gear Goo Review. I'm Moose, and today I have a knife review. Sorry about that magic trick there. And that one is of the SOG Spec Elite Mini. Oh yeah. So, uh, this knife is pretty awesome. I picked it up on a discount website for like 40 bucks, but the, the sale on it was over. Um, but, uh, I haven't really been a huge fan of SOG knives. Um, they're kind of like Camillus. You know, they got a lot of different unique things. I am, I am interested in like the SOG Tomahawks, which I know are super popular and people really like those. Um, but, uh. You know, for whatever reason, they just don't float my boat. But this one caught my eye, partially because I'd never heard of it. And I just thought it had a really unique look. And then the materials kind of blew me away, especially for the price that I got it for. And even then, for the price that they were asking for it, um, it's, you know, I think it's definitely worth it, especially after handling it and using it. But it's the SOG Spec Elite Mini. Um, the overall length is 6.5 inches. The blade length is 2.75 inches the blade thickness is 0.14 inches thick so it is a very thick stout blade um, the overall handle length is 3.625 inches uh, long and the overall weight is 2.7 ounces so it's under three ounces now looking at the blade shape uh, it kind of just reminded me of like a short stout kind of like survival kukri looking wanna bolo i don't even know um but you know it just had that kind of like survival jungly look with the recurve and whatnot now i typically don't go for recurves just because they're you know it's just one more extra step you need to watch out for when you're sharpening it uh but i went for it you know like i said price and materials uh so it has this kind of gray powder coat finish to it uh they do say it's a hollow grind which it's a slight hollow grind, um, but it just looks cool. It kind of looks like a creature to me, like a squid or an octopus. You know, there's the eye, and then it has that bulbous thing going out there. Um, it's kind of like a reverse tanto as well, so you got that reverse tanto kind of drop point. You have this nice decorative swedge up here, and then that bellied recurve. Uh, so it looks pretty cool. It has dual thumb studs. On the show side, you got SOG Spec Elite Mini. And then on the back side, you have VG10, and it's made in Seki, Japan. So Seki City, Japan, the same place that a lot of Spyderco knives are made. Uh, so yeah, pretty crazy. Um, the VG10 is kind of what really caught my eye. And I will say this is the thickest, uh, you know, spine or tang of VG10 I've ever seen or handled. Um, so pretty interesting. Uh, so... More than that, there's no jump, jumping up top. That thumb stud area uh, does kind of create a thumb ramp, uh, which is nice. And the blade goes to the complete edge, so where the ricasso is there, uh, it works as a sh uh, sharpening choil, so it's pretty cool. So now um, it is thumb stud deployable. It is a little bit thicker in handle, so those thumb studs actually stick out. A little thicker than what I taller than what I'm used to but it is sufficient and it works great um, moving into the handle handle has kind of like this boot knife shape very symmetrical overall there is that choil there where the thumb studs will sink in and it is chamfered to give you access to them uh, the whole edges are rounded and it has a diamond textured um, inlay area uh, for grip and then these two extra grooves that also add grip um, the overall all the hardware on it is silvered kind of polished silvered um, satin uh, and then the lock is known as their oh god what is it called <laughs> it is the arc lock that's what it's called and so it's similar to like an axis lock in a way that um, the pin or the hammer swings down to block the tang from being able to rotate back shut uh, but because it's on an arc you can see it pulls up swings out of the way and then swings into place whereas an axis lock 
just moves slides forward and back. This actually swings up and then back down. Uh, I will say though, it works great. It makes this an ambidextrous knife um, because of that. So if you're left-handed, this would be a great knife for you if you can find it. Um, and I will say with the weight of the blade and the thickness and everything, I actually like fondling this and playing with this better than like a Benchmade. Uh, the arc lock just works so great and it just swings shut like a demon. Like I'm really impressed with that. So super cool. Kudos to them and that. Uh, there is stainless steel liners uh, that are recessed into about 50% um, of the knife. So it's kind of in the main area with the lock then it kind of tapers down and follows these hardware uh, access points. Other than that, it is like a Zytel um, handle. There is uh, molded jimping on the back, and then the stainless steel liners give you that inlaid jimping there. Uh, and then it terminates in one of their great uh, deep carry pocket clips, uh, which works really well. You gotta love their deep carry pocket clips. Really nice, simple looking. Um, polished or satin finished uh, the one thing I will say though because it has like this boot knife kind of shape where it dips in and kind of swells out it actually does that the same on the um, top down view of the knife so you have it flat and then it kind of swells at the bottom which can be kind of good when you're pulling it out of pocket because it gives you that kind of bulb to catch on and pull on but it will be a little bit thicker and fatter in pocket so just be aware of that other than that, it works fine. I'm just really stoked. You know, you get this really nice, big, stocky blade. It feels rock solid. The lockup's really good. Um, no blade play. And, uh, you know, it's VG10. And uh, it came screaming sharp. And I just really like it. It's just a ton of fun to play with. So, super cool. Like it a lot. Uh, let's compare it to some other knives real quick. Got the tough light cold steel tough light you got the spectacle little native and we'll throw in the pillar and yeah so there you have it uh size wise you know it's that shorter blade you're looking at about two and a half inches uh or just over two and a half inches pretty comparable to all these um same kind of blade handle length as well it's just a titch longer um but very comparable now looking at the blade thickness, um, it's pretty thick. I'd say it is thicker than the Cold Steel Tough Light. Um, looking at the Spyderco Little Native, it is thicker. The Speculite is thicker than the Little Native. And then onto the Pilar. And here I'd say it's about even. Uh, but as you can see the handle gets really wide at the end there so uh, but weight wise same blade thickness more or less same size um, but man this pillar with that stainless steel frame lock is really heavy all right so honestly like like I said out of all the sogs this is the one to get um, onto the ugly brown glove test I can feel the arc lock protrudes just enough on either side uh, and that swing, it is just so smooth. And even the deployment open is just... And so I can find that recess. I can feel that pin with my thumb. The diamond texturing gives me good texture and grip. It's not going to slip out of hand. Uh, even the recess jimping in there locks into this cloth glove really well. Just pop it open. I rest my thumb right up on that uh, bump on the top of the spine. And my other finger can kind of wedge into that little choil, and it works great. Oh, excellent lockup. Yeah, that's solid in there. Yeah, awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Oops, getting excited. All right, guys, so there you have it. Totally passes the Ugly Brown Glove Test. I give it an A. An A. I'll give it a solid A for the Ugly Brown Glove Test. Excellent job, Sog. This Speck of Meat Lint Mini is just superb. I hope they come up with other variations. I know it's a little bit older of a knife, 
but I think people fell asleep on this one and, and really didn't realize what a great knife this is. So there you have it, guys. Hope you enjoyed this review. Um, you know, my question for you guys, what is your favorite SOG knife? Do you have a favorite? Um, so please answer that question down below. I'd like to know what you guys think. On that, please like, comment, and subscribe. Check out the other videos over here. Click the big round button down there. Check the eye in the upper right-hand corner for stuff. Uh, thanks again, guys. Check this knife out. Thank you, and I'll see you outside.